Life is now available at Walgreens, Wayne Reed, and other fun stores. Time Warner Cable has it all. Affordable TV, easy ways to watch, and now free DVR service. And free is just amazing. So we are giving you free DVR service for three months to record and enjoy your favorite movies and shows with an upgrade to qualifying packages. Call now, one 855 wc because this DVR offer ends soon. Get your free DVR service with an upgraded qualifying packages. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC now. Remember, this free DVR offer ends soon. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Now in Iraq, as the Iraqi government troops step up their siege of two cities threatened by fighters affiliated with al-Qaeda. It's happening in the western province of Anbar. Greg Palcott is following the story from our London Bureau. Greg. John, our word on the ground there is that tensions and troops are building up in that area of western Iraq that has seen so much bloodshed, so much sacrifice from U.S. troops in the past. Iraqi troops are clashing with al-Qaeda-linked militants outside of the city of Fallujah. We, again, are told that hundreds of terrorists from an al-Qaeda offshoot called the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria have linked up with some of the local tribal leaders in that city to gain control. There's fighting over other cities in that embattled region as well. Now, the Iraqi military at this very moment is threatening a full-scale invasion of that city. Tanks and artillery are, are, are ringing Fallujah, but there are big worries about a bloodbath, while the Sunni Muslim majority in that city might not love al-Qaeda. They hate the Shia-led government of Prime Minister Nur so there are big concerns about a, a full-scale ground operation. And that is, of course, reminding a lot of people of the full-scale ground operation we saw back in 2004 involving U.S. troops. They, too, were trying to get rid of militants from that city. The White House now is announcing a speed-up of, of drone surveillance aircraft and missiles to the government of Iraq. But, in fact, they are defending no boots on the ground. That's the latest from Iraq. Back to you, John. All right, Greg Palcott from London. Thank you. Taken out of the White House in this Fox News alert, the president pushing for the extension of unemployment insurance in this country. Let's listen in. has gone from bust to boom. Manufacturing's rebounding. The housing market's uh, rebounding. Stock markets are restoring retirement accounts. The promise of energy independence is actually in sight. Healthcare costs eat up less of our economy. Over the past four years, costs have grown at the slowest rate on record. Uh, and since I took office, we've cut our deficits by more than half. So America's getting stronger, and we've made progress. And the economy is growing, and we've got to do more to make sure that all Americans share in that growth. We've got to help our businesses create more jobs. We've got to make sure those jobs offer the wages and benefits that let families rebuild the little security. In other words, we've got to make sure that this recovery leaves nobody behind. And we've got a lot of work to do on that front. The good news is I'm optimistic we can do it if we do it together. Now, before the holidays, both parties compromised on a budget that lifts some of the drag that's been on the economy from... Uh, these indiscriminate cuts we call sequester. Uh, and as a consequence, this year, uh, we may see more stability when it comes to economic growth. And I think uh, I'm not alone in saying that uh, we are all grateful in the new year that we won't have another partisan shutdown, hopefully, uh, going forward. Um, so, so that was a good sign. And we should build on that progress with what I said should be the first order of business in 2014. And that is extending insurance for the unemployed. The good news is this morning the Senate took a very important step in that direction. Uh, for the Americans who joined me at the White House today and millions like them who were laid off in the recession through no fault of their own, unemployment insurance has been a vital economic lifeline. For a lot of people, it's the only source of income they've got to support their families while they look for a new job. These aren't folks who are just sitting back 
waiting for things to happen. They're out there actively looking for work. They desperately want work. But although the economy has been growing and we've been adding new jobs, the truth of the matter is, is that the financial crisis was so devastating that there's still a lot of people who are struggling. And in fact, if we don't provide unemployment insurance, it makes it harder for them to find a job. You heard Catherine's story. Uh, she's far more eloquent than I could ever be. She wrote me last month to say, please let those who think I'm sitting at home enjoying being unemployed know that I'd much rather be working. And I had a chance to talk to Catherine, and I think it's pretty clear uh, that that's the case. Catherine went on to say, I've applied to everything for which I'm possibly qualified to no avail. I've worked hard all my life, paid taxes, voted, engaged in political discussion, and made the ultimate sacrifice my two sons